in this video we're going to be discussing high ticket drop shipping now as you can see i have a list here of stuff that i've just come up with a whole bunch of different niches um, medical wearable technology and what you want to do is you just want to brainstorm you just want to get everything that you can on paper and then what you want to do is you actually you want to go through go through your list and you want to go and check google trends and see if it's going up if it's going down but in this video uh, let's i have like 258 or something but in this video we're not going to do all that I, I just grab something randomly and um i typed this in um into google five places for sale okay now after we do that i've already kind of picked this one because i looked at it and i said this looks like a drop shipper just by the name of it now when you're doing high ticket drop shipping you want to avoid walmart you want to avoid um could, because we're not competing with walmart we're not competing with amazon we're not competing with wayfair wayfair at one time wayfair was a very huge drop shipper but then at well, least they're still kind of drop ship but they do a lot more white labeling now because they have their own warehouses and so what they'll do is they'll take actual companies or, or brands and they'll bring some of that stuff into their warehouse and what they'll do is they'll just give them their own name like this right here is napoleon birch this is a, a actual brand but if you was to sell your your brand on wall on on wayfair they would completely change the name from napoleon and they might just give it wh whatever name that they give to to that brand because um you know at, at one time when we was doing this seven eight years ago they were like you know a, a big time drop shipper in which they still do drop shipping but they've changed a lot but but back to what I was saying, we're not competing with them. We're looking for these guys, the eat place stores, this guy here, our um, uh, fireplaces are us. These are the people that we want to look for. We don't want to compete with, uh, like I said, we don't want to, we're not competing with Overstock. You know, Overstock has warehouses. They have inventory. We're looking for other drop shippers. Modern Blaze, that sounds like somebody that may be drop shipping. But we'll start with these two because I'll tell you this. A lot of times, if you can find one, you can find a uh, many, okay? And I'll show you how in a second. But I want to make this video real quick. Okay, now we're going to come over here. This is Fireplaces or Us. Let's see. Um, and guys, we want to sell stuff between, if you just start, you may, you may feel more comfortable selling stuff at least $200. We're not looking for cheap stuff. We want something between two to a, at least a thousand okay if you're starting if you're more advanced a a thousand to the moon doesn't matter but um let's see um well first of all i clicked onto a product page Look, this this looks kind of cheesy terrible logo uh let's let's see who's who's this site who's made this site um just on well just on that sounds like shopify amazon gateway uh-huh I got all our e-commerce mini bc is is that who this on huh never heard of them mini bc huh. well it's not a shopify store but let's let's see what they're okay now you see this look at the pricing of this other things that they're selling now they could sell stuff between a lot cheaper if they wanted to they could sell stuff between i mean that's five places that are 200 to a thousand but these guys have chosen even though the the website looks like crap they, they're still shooting for the moon <laughs> six thousand but i mean if you're gonna sell it that a thousand sells the same as five thousand you know uh they have, they have some hundred dollar things but now what we want to do is all right oh okay okay this is this is uh we want to avoid them okay oh i told you wait we want to avoid um wayfair we want to avoid uh walmart amazon target all of the big stores but we also want to avoid see this right here these guys have an actual uh an actual either warehouse or a storefront in new york so we we don't compete with people that have stores we only want to compete with other drop shippers and this this is one of the things that that um that really tells you see a lot of people they don't know this stuff you know um but yeah you don't want to compete with the um 
with the guys that have stores. We only we're only looking for drop shippers because these guys, first of all, they're not gonna have, they probably won't have as many brands as a guy that's drop shipping because somebody that's drop shipping might have fifty to a hundred brands where all they have is what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about I don't know. They, they may have more of you all, but I don't want to go through all that. But um, now I want to show you something else, guys. This is something else that you always, I don't care if you're drop shipping or whatever. If you, if, and this is something like every website should have this and people don't tell you this. Well, this is something that, that, um, that in high ticket drop shipping that people do and they'll, they'll do price match guarantee. And that's to keep you from leaving their website and going to another website. They say, Hey, if you can find it somewhere else cheaper, I'll, I'll match that price. That is a good selling point that keeps people on your website. Um, whether you have a brick and mortar or you have, um, you know, if you drop shipping. Now, this is something else that's important. Every website should have this shipping and returns. Guys, if you like, Sometimes you'll go to, to those guys that ship from China and sometimes like I'm not saying all of them, but I'm saying sometimes I will see where they don't have shipping and returns. And I'm like, I don't trust that. And every site should have a contact us. A lot of those stores, they don't have a contact us. Um, let me see. I don't see an about us. They should have an about us as well, but they're brick and mortar. So that gives them a lot more legitimacy anyway. Just by them, you know, having an actual store and anybody that has a store, they're going to they're going to put that address. And so that's how you can easily find who your competition is. We want to avoid big box retails and we want to avoid brick and mortars. We want to avoid people with a showcase room, you know, because everybody um, we want to avoid people with a warehouse. We avoid warehouses, showcase rooms and um, and people with stores. OK, now we're going to come over here. We're going to look at this one. Now, this one looks more like. It looks a it looks a lot cleaner than that other one. You can tell this is a a, a dropshipper stores a lot cleaner. Uh, they have the one eight hundred number, free shipping over ninety nine dollars. Um, they have their brands free featured. Well, the other one you they, you kind of had to click on a button to find it. See that here's all their brands. Now this is what we want right here. We want the brands because once we get those brands, we're in business. We can go and we can reach out to those brands ourselves. Now this is something I don't, I don't see, I don't see a contact us or about us. That's, huh? That's weird for a dropshipper because normally dropship well in high high ticket dropshippers they typically go out of their way to prove legitimacy because they don't have a store so they usually have you know like a contact us I mean it won't have a store address but it'll have they'll make sure that they give you a phone number email um and, and I'm not talking about some Gmail you know go spend the six bucks go to um go to uh, Google and get a real email you know whatever at fire e fireplaces you know my name like noel at email fireplaces you know you don't just not noel at gmail.com you know what i mean come on um but ah wow, this is huh this is weird i don't see a contact us i don't see in a it might, it might be a uh nope huh no contact us no about us that's weird for a drop shipper normally i mean like i said in high ticket drop shipping they they pretty much always have that um let's see now but i did i did pull up the brands okay now this is the gold mine okay now see right here shop by now guys look at look at all of these suppliers look at all these suppliers you see look at this this is a gold mine now all you want to do is you actually want to just take down all of these suppliers and then what we're gonna do is reach out to these suppliers and build a website well what i would do is build a website first and then reach out to them because all you have to do is just put some fake um some holder places on there to show them that you actually have hey look i you know i'm a legitimate business i have my own website and they'll they'll sign you up a whole lot quicker and it works every time you a lot of people don't know that make the website put some like it, this pilgrim or whatever don't use them use this one use good words take Take some images from them, put them on a website and say, look, I'm carrying for these guys and take these guys here and put them on there and put these three on one website and then reach out to this guy right here. 
and you say, hey, look, I have all these other brands. They trust me. Look, I can bring business to you. That's how you get it. A lot of people say, well, what do I do? And then, I mean, there's a whole script. And like, guys, look, it, 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 this is not very difficult at all once you have the the processes in place and um now what i want you guys to do is i want you to smash that like button and um hit that subscribe button but don't just hit the subscribe button hit the button at the at the top of it i think it says all or something because you have to hit the bell to get the notifications because i'm going to be doing some series on drop shipping and i want you guys to be uh, able to keep up with what's going on but if you want to get to the head of the line and not wait for me to because every video i'm not going to be just doing high ticket drop shipping but if you want to get to the head of the line um i'm going to leave a link in the description where you can go ahead and you can learn more if that's what you choose to do if you don't hey don't bother me because one thing is i i do i've been doing this for seven eight years so one way or the other doesn't matter um there'll be a link in the description if you want to get more information it's nothing to buy it's nothing to see it's just to give you more information on you know about drop shipping now if that interests you get on the email list if not i have another video may interest you more but uh i'm noel and i am out of here